Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about summarize columns tax function. What it is, when to use it. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss any of the contents that I newly posted. Let's begin. The summarize column syntax is group by column, filter table, name, and expression. Meaning like it summarizes the uh, data uh, and applying certain filters for the measures or the uh, calculations that are provided for that calculation you provide a name so let's try to understand from this visual how this summarize columns works so why i have made this uh, diagram over here is like for power bi visuals any report you create right it uses its own uh, summarize column functions meaning like for this visual it calculates uh, its own summarize columns uh, function to return the results over here for this visual it will have its own summarize column function so it will create two DAX uh, measures or sorry calculations uh, for each visual right so and utilizing all the filters applied so let's assume for this visual how the summarize columns works the group by column will be whatever in your x-axis and filter table will be whatever filters you apply that will be moved to the filter uh, context here and then name and expression whatever values you display sales amount right the sum of values this will be your summarize columns over here in case of this visual the y-axis the group by column becomes your y-axis then filter table whatever filters you apply the name will be quantity let's try to check it out this one in visually in the power bi also let's try to understand what else uh, functionality is available in using the summary columns with this note let's begin this channel contains uh, analytics contents that covers uh, msbi power bi fundamentals of azure please utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues this channel also contains um, uh, contents related to the interview preparation or something related to your career guidance please utilize this uh, free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so i am in power bi now and uh, to make you to understand as i said before we have any visuals whatever you design each visual generates its own summarize column based on the uh, outputs it generates now uh, let's try to see visually by enabling the um, performance analyzer okay i have enabled the performance analyzer so that whatever query this visuals fires right that will be captured i'm not filtering anything right now let's try to start regarding I am refreshing the visuals. So this is the uh, measure or the calculations uh, generated by this visual and this is the calculation generated by this visual. Let's try to run both in a, a DAX query. Now you can see summarize column, dim date year, sum of sales amount that is the name right and calculate. If you go back to the syntax over here the group by column the, there is no filter supplied yet so that is ignored now allies name is given and expression you can see this is how this is being calculated and after that the value is getting displayed with the certain order right so let's check it out this measure now it will be similar summarize columns location sum of quantity calculation sum of quantity and it is displayed so now we understand uh, the syntax over here how it works how the power bi utilizes the summarize column power bi effectively uses this summarize columns let's try to move on to the second scenario applying certain filters i'm applying one filter as well as uh, another filter here in formal i have two options here i will filter branded now i get the results this is also captured let's clear it out and refresh again so that we can see clearly for time being i'm not focusing on sales amount let's focus on quantity so let's try to run this dax query here now you can see as i said before 
a filter is applied and uh, uh, stored in a variable for the product master and brand is supplied again with the uh, another variable you can see from the syntax summarize column group by column again it is a sales location meaning like whatever in your uh, y-axis then filters right filters are applied then just calculate the whatever measures you want so with this uh, simplicity of uh, writing the code you can achieve whatever you want in your summarize columns uh, measure so this is why power bi predominantly uses the summarize columns for most of the calculations or uh, returning your results so let's move on to another scenario right now what else summarize column does let's add another hierarchy here uh, along with location let me add um, which one like a uh, status right i don't know whether on uh, this has a status so i don't think this is the right way to do uh, order type so now i added the order uh, whether it's in online order offline order let's see it in uh, matrix so that it will be very easy to view uh, the table so i have uh, order type location and quantity as well let's go to performance analyzer clear it refresh once again i got the table now without any name this is the table let's try to check it out how the query looks like now now this summarize column also added right certain um, um, function another function meaning like roll up add a subtotal right basically like when you add a um, table level uh, function right table level visual it adds roll up add is top subtotal roll up group it grouped these two columns and then it returned the results meaning like uh, based on the requirement if you need a subtotal right for this location alone and also the order type right for the on shop alone you need a subtotal you need to go for the matrix visual let's do like this expand it right now clear refresh there you go matrix run in a uh, DAX query window now you can see it is slightly different here in compared to the previous query previous query uh, when you have a um, table visual it is rolling up the total okay basically what it has to display when you have um, a table level visual uh, let's try to copy and paste here i will change it to table right when you have a table level visual along with this results you need to show the totals right that is what this roll up uh, function is doing roll up add is top total so along with this you also need to show the grand total as well right that is the uh, this roll up is subtotal and it is grouping both the things so that the entire total will be shown when you change this one to the uh, matrix right you need subtotal at uh, each order type right this is on shop 278 and online order 8 which is missing in this table visual this also to be written by the tax query for that the new query here you see here for on shop you have some total here 278 and online order it is 8 then it is also displaying which is true function is more flexible and then it gives uh, meaningful results right to display in a visual so this is the most powerful function that power bi uh, uses right internally i hope you understand the purpose of summarize columns function and syntax over it and roll up add a subtotal as well right so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is